everybody, Joe here. Welcome to day 24 of the 30 day daily drawing challenge designed to help you build a daily drawing habit in 10 minutes or less per day. So day 24, it's favorite candy. And uh, one of my favorite candies is the Jolly Rancher. And uh, I like the Jolly Rancher for uh, lots of reasons besides that uh, they taste good. There's a lot of variety of flavors, um, but they're, uh, pretty neat to look at uh very similar to glass maybe a gemstone if you will and um yeah so there are all those similarities to glass there's so much intricacy going on inside and outside and uh to me that's what uh, my with my design the jolly roller i decided that some of my dice reminded me of candy and uh I, so i wanted that juxtaposition so uh today uh, I've chosen some of my Derwent uh, Inktense blocks. I'm going to mostly use the blocks. I think finish up, my plan is to finish up with the Payne's Gray pencil today. So, without further ado, okay, I've got my timer set for 10 minutes. Let's hit start, and here we go. So today, uh, one of the things, too, I wanted to say is uh, I'm going to start with this dark pencil because I'm going to work on the negative shape first and then fill in the colors on the inside. So I've got my uh, my uh, block here. We'll break it. And uh, I'm looking at my, my hard candy here. So we want to, let's see, go with... Basically, I'm using a contour drawing of the outside of it. And, all right, so let's figure out, let's see if we can, it's a brand new, brand new, uh, brand new block. So it, you basically have to, doesn't, it's not super even on the outside right away. i to kind of build that up here. Okay. Oop. My phone's actually in the way. That's all right. Just keep going. So, and then let's uh, let's get some develop some darker edges here. Just edge underneath. I've got so many lights in my studio that the shadows actually there's about like four or five different shadows coming off of this. But you can see once you when you get that negative shape, even though the paper is uh, white, uh, it should let us uh, get some kind of an interesting, let's see how this, this, this is a purplish color, work in some, some of the darks here, the shadows as this uh, translucent uh, sugar candy goes through, I'm not thinking too much about the, uh, thinking too much about the, the um, labels now some of these are very light colors so I, mean, I want to be make sure I'm gentle this stuff when we wet it it's gonna it, it, it'll it can go dark I know the edges are, are um, candy wrapper are yellow so, and a little bit of a little smear from some of the other colors here but I think that's gonna be okay because They'll blend up and there'll be some weird, interesting things here. Let's use uh, this dark purple as a, as, a, as a shading tone here. So we can kind of get a better sense of the dimensions of this, this material here. And I'm gonna go with more of the pink to the top here. Real light. And then we've got this kind of yellow, it's gonna go orange, but um, right now I'm kind of just, I wanna get these base colors down. Okay, let me take out my uh, water pencil, or water pen, do a couple squeezes, make sure the water's coming out of it. And let's just do the back first. Now there's gonna be a lot of water here, so the, the paper itself is gonna warp a little bit as, as it dries. Kind of an interesting purple that I picked. One of the things about the blocks, um, I, I should say that the, the container doesn't have a great, you don't have a, it's, it's not really super easy to tell what block is what, but um, 
I decided that that didn't matter because uh, if I can see what the color look like, I can get a good sense of you know, how I'm going to use it in a in a piece, in a sketch. Now I'm really squeezing down hard on this water because I there's so much uh, ink there that it uh, kind of absorbs it pretty fast, and um, it's winter, so it, uh, it's pretty dry in the basement here. Uh, when the heaters are on and stuff, it just tends to, uh, the furnace goes and then boom. Now where's your, all the humidity in the air is gone. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's get this, we got this, I got a little bit of a dark on the, on the brush itself. Let's take advantage of having some, some of this ink inside the, uh, inside the brush so we can get some other tonal qualities that you might not necessarily uh, get if you tried to just do it with the brush, with the uh, with the tool itself. Now they do have a white um, for for the ink tense blocks. Oops, that's right. See, let's add it in. Make sure it's the make sure it's the make sure it's the shadow. There's not too much glare. Let's clean some of that off so we can get the lighter tones in here. I'm still trying to make sure I kind of go with the form as I move my uh, brush across the surface for some of it. Obviously, like what I just did there, I'm trying to get that, make sure that edge is solid. If you had more time, you could let some of this dry and then come back and then work back into it. But what we're going to do is just kind of keep going because you only have 10 minutes, right? This is, we're, we're building a habit. We know we have 10 minutes that we can keep, you know, oop, eliminate out of the day. Open my, open my timer. So my lack of steps for the day. Negative shape. Put this out here. Let's see the see the a lot of water beads up. Okay, I'm gonna close off the water, and let's see if we can work in uh, some of these a little bit more of the detail. So uh, here we got watermelon. Shadow for the logo. Art candy. This is not the font, obviously. Right now, I'm just trying to be quick. Quick and uh, not super careful. So let's see. We can go through with a little more yellow in here. Although, so you don't really have to worry about wetting things down. Kind of thing that um, get yellow on there, and uh, make sure I'm watching where I'm going. Uh, if wetting things down is really just important in terms of um, you know it unifies that sh that shape. It doesn't you don't have the texture that gets rid of the uh, paper texture that you've worked in stuff. But let's make sure we got some. Let's go with the yellows. Make sure they pop. Off some of the dirty stuff. Have some fun here. Get off that. 
this candy pop a little bit. Coming up on the last minute. Make sure I get this clean. A little, bit, a little bit. You can see how you get the tones. It can be a little bit. Uh, sometimes they're a little hard to judge, but as you work it, work through it more and more. A little bit of red over there. You can kind of move some of this around. All right, I come in one more with the dark. Let's see how that, that shadow should make it pop a little bit better. So a nice quick sketch. You can see how these these tools could. Uh, Stop here. Let's see how these will make it a little bit. Um, let's give it a hard edge, just so you can so it pops more. But as you're doing these kinds of studies, there you go. <laughs> uh, as you're doing these kinds of studies, just keep in mind that um, you know you're, it's only ten minutes, right? It's this is not. Uh, Okay, I'm going to work on this all day and uh, tomorrow and the next day, and then uh, figure out how it's going to go onto my canvas, and then you know work that for a couple of days. But um, Jolly Ranchers, they're fun. <laughs> Lots of neat stuff, intricacies. There's a lot of stuff going on inside it, um, even more than uh, than what I kind of hinted at. So uh, hope you give it a sh give it a shot. Uh, or you know if you, whatever your favorite candy is, you know, let let, us, let me know in the comments what's your favorite candy. Uh, hey, thanks a lot, everybody. If you made it this far, please be sure to give me a like, uh, share this with your friends, and um, you know subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, it's all everything's really appreciated, and it's uh, it's I'm really having fun doing this. So uh, I hope you're having fun with me. Uh, and let's see, you know, what we can do in the future. If you've got any ideas for future videos after I've done with this uh, this 30 day daily drawing challenge, um, you know, let me know down below. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer your questions or uh, give uh, give some other techniques and things a shot. If you're curious about different tools, uh, I'll see if I've got them. If I don't, I'll, you know, I'll give it a shot. So hey, I really, you know, really having fun. If you give somebody a reason to smile, you just might get to smile too. So thanks a lot. Love you all. Take care. Bye.